Shalom, shalom. Now, I am instructed to inform you up front to let you know that this particular audio does contain strong language, okay? So, if you are sensitive to uh, a little bit of profanity, the F-bomb, all right, that's dropped like several times throughout this next audio that we're going to be going over, okay? It was recorded on 4-30-24, okay? I am instructed to keep it authentic, all right? Um, I realize that overall it is best to refrain from using such language, okay? Um, I realize that it is offensive to some people, um, but my purpose for using it is not to offend anyone, okay? It's simply the fact that I have not overcome that kind of language just yet, okay? And just like smoking uh, cigarettes and cooking my food, all right, I am not perfect, people, okay? However, um, perfect in my heart when it comes to what the Most High requires of us, okay? Uh, perfect in my conscience, because I'm not convicted in my conscience about not bringing you this next work, okay? Um, this next word by way of the Spirit, all right? Um, as a matter of fact, I would be convicted if I didn't bring it, okay? Because this is what I am instructed to do. I would be convicted if I was not authentic, all right? That's when a conviction would come into play. Hey, you, you need to keep this in there. Don't cut this out, okay? Yes, I follow the leading of the Spirit. And the Spirit of Truth is all about authenticity, okay? Not superficiality. Not putting on a pretense, okay? So anytime I get on here, I'm keeping it 100% real, okay? Now, this is not going to be no long intro whatsoever. I have no idea how many videos this is going to be, but I am on a limited time schedule, all right? Today is 5-2-24, um, I have not received any help to pay the rent come for May, um, and the first is passed, today is the second, uh, I will actually have to pay that, um, tomorrow, uh, for it not to be late on Monday, cause Monday is the sixth, and if it's not paid, um, by Monday, and, you know, the office is closed Saturday and Sunday, um, and I, I won't be able to get a receipt, I will have to put it in a drop box, you know what I'm saying? And there's no, these people are quick, are, are crooked, okay? There's no guarantee. I will have to take a picture, you know, and um, pray. And like, I'm just saying, this is if somebody, you know, decided to melt their stony heart and help me, I will have to have that by Friday, you know, before 5 p.m. so that I could take it to the office and have them um, give me a receipt or, you know, sign the paper that I paid my rent, you know, for May, so they, they don't be trying no slick stuff, okay, because they, they do that, they try these slick things, you know, they, they hope that you don't have your receipt, they hope that you don't have proof that you paid your rent, you know, <clears throat> but anyway, um, I'm keeping it real, people, and then, uh, on the 5th, uh, 5-5, five, five, um, yeah, the internet company is going to want their $124, okay? I have not earned money, okay? I'm not here to earn money. I'm here to give the oracles of the Great Spirit, okay? And this is what I have been instructed by way of the Spirit to do with my life. Okay, now I understand how it can come across to people on surface level. And that's perfectly okay. You you are entitled to your perception, okay? But we gonna get into it. 
we going to get into it, bro, because people are valuing money. All right, they're valuing money. I know that that the value of money was forced on people. Okay? I realize that. However, you are still held accountable for your heart condition, okay? For your mentality. You are still held accountable for that. Okay? <clears throat> According to the great spirit, you know, you know the great spirit realizes that this was forced on all humanity. But you are still instructed to love your neighbor as you do yourself, okay? That commandment didn't go anywhere. You were still instructed to treat your neighbor how you would want to be treated, okay? You were instructed to refrain from doing to others that which you would not want done to yourself. But see, you have been subtly deceived into casting off that eternal law and devaluing that, but putting all your value and your mentality and your heart upon money. And you don't see a problem with that. But I am here to help you see, okay? <clears throat> because we're at the end, people, all right? We're at the end, all right? You should not value money more than you do loving your neighbor, okay? Now, <sighs> I have another audio that I recorded earlier today, <clears throat> and it's not very long at all. It's like nine minutes. Let me get the name of it. Money You Value. Hold on. Let me get the full name. Money You Value, all while debasing the true wealth. How is it that you consider yourself wise, but your whole mentality and your heart is set upon money and the value of it, but you see no value in loving your neighbor, brotherly love? Generosity and kindness, compassion, empathy, mercy towards your neighbor. You are devaluing that, but you think you're wise. You think that you're a servant of the Most High. You think you truly love and serve who you want to call Jesus, Yahawashai. Yahusha, Yahuwah, whatever name you want to utilize. You're following a false god, okay? You don't realize that. You're valuing money over love, compassion, mercy, and empathy. For your neighbor. For your fellow human being. You debase people like me. Because we don't value money. But you know what I do value? This truth. I value the oracles that I have been given. I value compassion. I value love. I value empathy. Mercy. These are the things that I value. And I do not value Money, because I realize that money never came 
from the maker of my spirit, the lover of my soul. Okay? I realize that money came from wicked men who set themselves up in authority over all humanity and all creation. Therefore, no, I don't value their false God. Okay? I am here to shine light on this. So, that being said, people, I don't do this to deliberately hurt anybody. Okay? I do this because I've been instructed to do this. All right? Now, um, we're going to try to wing this the best way possible, bro. Because, again, some of these videos would be better compiled, okay? But you know my situation, people. All right? Let's get it. Who oh, I... Hold on. Let me start it from the beginning here. The final one's going to be raw, bro. That just is what it is. Okay? Yeah, the final ones is the bold ones, the wild ones, the uncontrollable ones, the ones that the world could not control. However, the great spirit and the spirit of truth will lead and guide us. We're obedient to that. Yeah, we're obedient to the spirit. Not to what mortal men say upon this earth. We're the final ones. You ain't got <clears throat> that much time left. You are in the valley of decision. Hey, keep thinking. That this world is going to continue the way it's been going. Yeah, like however long you think this is going to keep going. Okay? But the living witnesses have been risen. And we have been instructed to speak to you. And I know that we may come off rude. But if we ain't cussing you out and we're not shutting up the kingdom to you, telling you that you can't get in the kingdom and that you're going to go into captivity and that we going to be doing, if, 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 they, if they're doing that, then bruh, they are not of the most high. Okay? That, that ain't what I'm talking about. When I say that I'm raw, it means I give you this truth with no filter, okay? But I don't deliberately try to hurt people. I'm not here to belittle anybody. But I have to be authentic. I have to be myself. And I am not a sugarcoater. I am bitter truth. So... With that being said, I know many people think it's crazy as hell. How, do, how you think you can talk to people the way you talk to people and expect people to want to help you? Again, have I cussed anybody out? Have I shut up the kingdom to you? Or have I given you the keys to the kingdom? Though my words may come across harshly, it's not done purposely. Okay? I, I don't sit down and think about what the hell I'm going to say to this people. <clears throat> and or how it's going to come across, how it's going to come out. I don't ponder on such things, okay? It just is what it is. I am who I am. Many people want to not listen to me because I have no tact. 
I'm very raw with this truth. I can't help that. This is the way that I was created, okay? It's my personality. But I treat people the way I want to be treated, okay? I refrain from doing to others anything that I wouldn't want done to myself. I have love, compassion, mercy, empathy, patience, long-suffering, and all of these fruits of the Spirit, plus some chastity, charity, all the things that I've been given to speak, I have applied to my life, and I live it. See, people want to seriously think that's arrogant for me to inform you that I live my life this way. But I am instructed by my maker to put my life on this channel. And those who follow my channel and been watching my channel will see all my struggles, trials, and tribulations. Okay? Will see who I truly serve. Who I truly Glorify and honor. And it cannot be denied. Okay? Just because people tend to ignore my channel. You know, I posted it last night. Or did I post it today? Let, let's go um, to, to uh, my Facebook right quick. Because today is... um I just, I just remembered. Today is my three-year anniversary for creating my channel. I created my channel this day, three days or three years ago. Okay. This day, three years ago, five, two, 2021. Okay. Five, two, 2021 is when I created my YouTube channel. All right. Now I don't think I posted a video until like the 21st of May, but bruh, I, I posted this to my wall. Okay. And I tagged everybody. All right, and I, t I tagged everybody, and not one, not one person responded to it. Okay, one person like this. I'm, j I'm hold on, hold on, people. You can't see. Let me take you to. Uh, yeah, there we go. All right, now, so you can see. Uh, one person like this, I posted it three hours ago. Your light is going to aggravate a lot of unhealed people. Glow anyway, okay? One person gave me a love, okay? One person gave me love on this post, all right? But let's go ahead and go to my profile. <clears throat> all right, because people need to see this, all right? See this? Celebrating an anniversary, three years ago today, I started this YouTube channel under the divine or direction and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Currently, there's 893 videos available. 893 videos available for those who are seeking to elevate in the spirit of and in truth, okay, at everyone, all right, tag truth, tag elevation, tag motivation, tag authenticity, it's crickets, bro, it's straight crickets, okay, people do not care about this truth, but this truth is not mine, okay, I did not invent this truth, all right, I'm only speaking what I have been given and applied to my life, all right? And these people scatter, all right? You, you see my page here. The devil lies well because he knows the truth well, okay? You better know the truth well so you can discern the lie. But unfortunately, most people don't want to know the truth. Okay, they want to they want to continue to be fed their comfortable lies that they want to believe is quote unquote truth. Okay, that's that's a huge difference. They want to believe a lie. Okay, therefore it becomes a strong delusion. All right, 
And the Most High, the Great Spirit, is going to allow it because you have free agency. All right? I need more friends who are awake and aware. I, I said, yes, bro, I'm tired of being surrounded by people who are 3D-minded. Where, I put a telescope, are the 5D consciousness people at? Like, where are you at? Where are the other people who want to walk in divine love? Who literally want to care about their neighbor as they care about themselves? Where are they? Where are all the other self or soft-hearted people? Why am I surrounded by a whole bunch of self-serving people? Where are those who are compassionate? Where are those who are kind-hearted? Because it seems like crickets. I'm over here like this. Guys, watch out for the waterfall. And then you get people like this that's about to go over the edge. They about to reap real soon. They're like, where's your source? Who the hell you think you are? Where's your accolades? Who did you study under? I studied under the Holy Spirit, okay? Yeah, I humble myself to the spirit of truth, okay? Not mortal men. People like, where's your tinfoil hat? You literally want, literally want to mock me. You want to mock, okay? You want to ridicule. Call me a conspiracy theorist, okay? Say I got my head in the clouds. Ain't no prophets anymore, and I don't even call myself no prophet. They want to say, ain't no, Le ain't no Levitical priesthood anymore. I ain't saying I'm of the Levitical priesthood. All I'm saying is I'm follow following the leading of the Spirit. And you want to cast that off as ignorant. Because all you can see is this reality that you have been presented. But I'm trying to help you. Because you can clearly see where I stand... I'm, I'm not getting ready to go over the edge. Even though it may look like it in my physical life. Facing the fact that I cannot pay rent thus far for this month. I have a month at least. They won't be evicting me until 6, 6-5. Six, okay? Most likely. And they'll be posting that eviction notice on my door on the 6th. Okay, if it's not paid on um, by the by the fifth, they will be posting that eviction notice on my door by the sixth. All right, and I have a month to pay the rent and all the late fees to avoid it. So and, and then also my internet bill due on five five twenty four. All right, because this system has placed money as God and put a value system on it and forced everybody to value money and spend their time, energy, and effort pining after it so that they can sustain their lives. Okay? And I do not fault you for doing that. You have free agency. I am not ridiculing you. I am not putting you down. This is what you've chosen to do with your free agency. I'm only here to inform you that it is still about your heart when it comes to the great spirit. Okay? It is still about your mentality. I'm over here telling you people these things. Okay? And yes, it appears that I am going down in the fire again. And we're going to get into a book, bro, because I, I'm, I'm like the freaking Hebrew boys in the furnace, okay? The, one that, the ones that did not bow down to that God, okay? The God of gold that was set up, okay? They, they would not bow down and worship that idol, okay? That false God. They refused to bow. So they put them in a fiery furnace, all right, but someone showed up in that fiery furnace along with them, and they did not get burned. Okay, 
I trust in a living power, not in a God of this system. All right? This is the type of stuff that I post on my wall, people. I live this truth all day, every day. Okay? Irrefutable, regardless of dogmatic belief systems. All right? Source, unexpected faces in ancient America. All right? Explaining how we were already here before the Spanish invaded. Okay? Before colonization, we were here. So all that you have been fed all your life about the people who were invaded by Christopher Columbus and subdued, um, it has been a fabrication because we were here. So-called Negroes, so-called black people, so-called African Americans, okay? And you want to continue to ignore that. You see how it's ignored. You see how it has no responses on this. Let you know what's in your McDonald's. You see how it's crickets. My love language is when people actually walk the talk. See, people want to live superficially. They want to say that they love people. They want to say that they love one another. But they are not showing it. No. They do it superficially. Okay? This is the type of stuff I post on my wall all day, every day. Accusing me of devious thinking slash actions says more about you than it does me. Like that crap ain't even on my radar, love. If you're a villain, just say that. See, I've been accused of setting this channel up for money. That's asinine. Anybody that would do YouTube for money would not go nowhere near through the long suffering that I've been going through. It is all documented on my channel. It don't matter that you ignore all of it. It don't matter because the documentation is here. It cannot be denied. I've literally went through the fire. And still going through it. As you can see, I get no love. The love that I pour out on a daily basis. No one wants to return to me. If you think this is possible, you're not thinking enough. They lied to you, okay? We were already here. They subdued us on this land, okay? We're the indigenous seed of the Americas and some other lands that were colonized. The divine dwells within you. This is my profile on Facebook. This is the type of stuff that I post. I'm not here to be a battery for this system. I'm here to be a light for those who are seeking. You see how it's crickets? Posted 19 hours ago. Integrity. During doing the right thing without an audience. You see how my channel don't get much views? Yet I still keep going because it's been what I was called to do. I post recipes on here to help people. Share recipes, okay? It's a full recipe. See, an unhealed per person can find offense in pretty much anything someone does. Why, why are you offended that I don't want to earn money? Why are you offended that I don't value money? 
See, you want to twist it around and say, well, if you don't value money, then why should I give it to you? Um, because it's about your heart and it's the freaking currency that was set up within this system. Just because I don't value it enough to pine after it doesn't mean that I don't need it from those who are soft hearted in order to freaking gain my bare necessities. Okay, so it's about your heart. All right, to, to keep a roof over my head. People, it is about your heart. You should have compassion, even for those who don't do what you do. All right? So no, I don't value money, but I value the heart. Okay? So if you have a kind heart enough to help me and show compassion to me, that is what I value. I, I, it's not the money that I value. Okay, it is the love that I value. The compassion. The mercy. Do you people not understand what I am saying? Money should not be valued. What should be valued is love, compassion, mercy, and empathy. Okay? I am demonstrating this for you. All right? An unhealed person can find offense in pretty much anything someone does. A healed person understands that the actions of others have nothing to do with them. See, I understand. That it's not truly me whom you hate, whom you detest. I know that. It's your maker. It's the eternal law of love that you hate and are rebelling against. Okay? That's what you're, you're rebelling against that. All right? And you want to shut up your bowels to me, but you're actually rebelling to the eternal law of love. Love your neighbor as you do yourself. You are not doing that. Instead, you love your money. You love your materialistic things. And you think that you can gaslight me, but your time is up. Okay? I understand why you do what you do. You don't understand why you do what you do. Each day, though, you get to decide which one you will be. Every day that you wake up with the breath of life in your lungs, you have an opportunity to humble yourself and change your heart. Okay? <clears throat> and the Lord said to me, what you face also has to face me. What you do to me, you are doing to the one who you profess out your mouth that you love and serve. Okay? Intuition, when you don't know how you know, but you know you know, and you knew you knew, and that's all you need to know. See, that's what it is, people. I know in my soul, I am not here to pine after money. I am here to give freely. All that I have received via the spirit of truth, that which I have applied to my life, and also that which I have heard and vowed to do later, okay? Like fasting, all right? I keep it real though. I let you know I haven't fasted in a long time, okay? Like cooking my food. I already know that eventually I will be a fruitarian, okay? You must always be willing to truly consider evidence that contradicts your beliefs and admit the possibility that you may be wrong. Intelligence isn't knowing everything. It's the ability to challenge everything that you know, okay? And bro, so you can see this. 
my brother uh, D. Griff, he posted this. Let's talk about it. In order to have understanding, you must sacrifice the flesh to be open with the spirit. Most people walk this earth talking biblical when in reality they have yet to sacrifice their flesh to gain spiritual wisdom from our Father Yah. The Messiah gave us instructions on what needs to be done before you can even be in the Most High's kingdom. Okay? And he quotes these scriptures here. You have to crucify your flesh with its passions and desires. Okay, the reason why you work your jobs and you're valuing money and all of that because of the desires of your flesh. Well, guess what? I have them same desires. I have a desire to have a roof over my head, but I'm not going to pine after money in order to freaking keep a roof over my head. For I know that the Messiah told me, Not to worry about these things, but to seek first the kingdom and his righteousness, and then all of these things will be supplied unto me. Okay? Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. But those who live accordance with the spirit have our minds set on what the spirit desires. The mind governed by the flesh is death. So when you're working your jobs, when I work jobs, my spirit was in turmoil. Okay? Your spirit is dead when you're working jobs, okay? And mine was in turmoil, okay? But the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace, okay? My mind is governed by the spirit, even though I suffer a hell of a lot in the flesh, okay? Because of the coldness of the hearts of the people, who love and glorify money, okay? So you can see, is this not confirmation to everything I've been saying, all right? And I had posted this the other day and read it. It was part of my description that I posted on my um, YouTube in the community section. Check it out. You see this? It, it like go it's ghost ghost it all right i'm gonna read you my post this was a day ago okay see the problem most people have with me is the fact that i don't value money it makes them salty because they feel like the value of money is what sustains life they are deeply deceived it's not the value of money that sustains life The value of money is what's destroying life and oppressing all humanity and all creation. The only reason people are living this way is because it was forced upon us by the extremely, by extremely wicked people. Most people rather be complacent with that. And demonize the few of us who rebel against such wickedness. I get why people do what they do to sustain their life. And that's their choice. They have free agency. You're free to do what has been established within the system. That in and of itself is not evil. It does, however, become evil when you begin to harden your heart against others who don't do as you do. For when you do that, you are attempting to strong arm slash take away that person's free agency, and that's evil. It's way deeper than you realize when you do that. You are attaching yourself to the very same wicked ass people who forcefully established this system with much bloodshed and outright robbery. You especially make yourself an enemy to the one many of you professing you serve when you do this to those of us led of the Holy Spirit. When you do this to those of us on our spiritual mission, that is extremely dangerous. And I am instructed to give you these warnings. 
Woe to you people who love, cherish, and value money. But quick to shut up your bowels of compassion, love, mercy, and empathy towards your neighbor who don't have our hearts set upon money. See, I value and cherish the oracles of the great spirit. That's what I live for. That's what I adore. I don't adore materialistic things and honors of men and clout and status and all of that trivial shit of this world. So when you try to force me to be like you who love this world, please understand what you are doing. I tag truth and oracles and everybody at everybody. Okay, no servant can serve two masters. See, pe <laughs> people want to cite themselves out to believe that they serve my power, but they do not. They serve the deceiver. Okay, they love and serve the deceiver. All right, for if they serve my power, bro, then they will love me. Okay, if you love and serve my power, then you will love me. Okay? You ain't ready to have this conversation, frazzle drip. Okay? This is utter wickedness. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off of here, but this is the last one I'm going to read. All right? You, you can see. You see this a day ago. We went through a lot, people. So, you see, this is how I live my life. Okay, I am a light. I am to utilize all my time, energy, and effort putting out all of this truth in order to help people to see the reality, the true reality. Okay, to give them a divine opportunity to wake up before it's too late. In order to even begin to understand what's going on in the world right now, you have to be open to, to the idea of unlearning almost everything that you have been taught. Okay. True servants of the Most High apply the living word to our life and we live it. Life events, celibacy, abstaining from all sexual immorality. May 9th, 2021. Okay? Stop consuming flesh and blood. September 11th, 2019. Okay? Please understand that it ain't about what you confess out your mouth, nor what you psych yourself out to believe in your heart. Okay? It's literally about obedience, people. This is about obedience to the spirit of truth. All right? Now, let's see where we're at in this audio. Okay? So it ain't about what people say. They can say whatever the hell they want to say about me. But my fruit lines up with what I have been given to speak. And that, my friends... Associates, acquaintances, homies, brothers and sisters cannot be denied. Okay? So keep turning a blind eye. However long you want. And see, let me give you a little imagery of turning a blind eye. One second. This is, this is like, bruh. Hold on a second. Because, bro, y'all, and, and this is the main people that literally want to attack me, okay? You, you want to be blinded, but you, you, you want to claim that I'm arrogant, all right? Like, it's, it's, not, it's not that you can't even see the truth, okay? You, you see the things that I'm saying. You see it all around. You know damn well you don't even like working your damn jobs, okay? 
<laughs> you ain't no way in hell you going to make me believe that you enjoy waking up day after day, clocking in and working for the man. Okay, working for the CEO who do not work, but have his slaves, which are you, okay? And you have your bosses and all of these things, your managers, okay? You know damn well you don't like that, okay? But yet you do it. Why do you do it? Because you want to sustain your life, okay? Yes, you do it because you want to sustain your life, people, all right? And I get that. I understand that. And so does the great spirit. So does the ascended master, Yahushua HaMashiach. You say you serve and follow Yahushua HaMashiach. But he says, therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on. Okay, let's go ahead and go there. All right, I've brought this out many times. But you want to ignore th these red writings, these, these red words, okay? Like, bro, you say you follow and love and serve Jesus. But Jesus is telling you to take no thought for your life. Okay? It says, lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth. But what is people doing? They're saving their money. Okay? This is what you're spending all your time, energy, and effort doing. He says, don't do it, but you're spending all your time, energy, and effort doing what he told you not to do. But you, you think that you are following him. Okay? He's telling you to lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Do you think waking up day after day, clocking in, earning your money... Do you think that you're lay and you're saving it? You think that that is laying up treasures in heaven? Do, do you seriously think that that is serving the most high? Or are you serving yourself? Are you serving the system? How are you laying up for yourselves treasures in heaven? You shut up your bowels to those who don't do what you do. You harden your heart. You become selfish. Because you choose to do this. You choose to do the opposite of this. You choose to slave for your bare necessities. You choose to work these jobs and save your money. Okay? So you hate those of us who are laying up for ourselves treasures in heaven. Okay, and we don't spend our time, energy, and effort going the opposite of what the Messiah told us not to do. Okay, we, we don't do this. We don't lay up for ourselves treasures on this earth. So you want to be mad at me because I'm not earning money and saving it. He said, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Do you not realize that my channel is laying up treasures in the kingdom? In, in heaven? Yes, because I have given you the keys to the kingdom. Okay? Bruh, come on now. Hold on, people. Mm, it's a new subscriber. Usually it don't even tell me when I get a new subscriber, but... Bruh, I, I, I kind of uh, feel like there would be some that was, that's going to unsubscribe after this, bruh, okay? I, like, I am not here to gain subscribers, okay? Let's see, what am I going to do? And let's go to studio, it's easier to do it this way. All right, people, now... You see, my post last night didn't get no love, okay? I'm just showing you. This is my channel, okay? So we're going to go to content, all right? 
Now, you see the views here? I know I don't have a lot of views. However, these messages will help people elevate in the spirit and in truth tremendously. Okay? All the oracles of the kingdom. Okay? Keys to the kingdom. All right? Letting you know there's different levels of the kingdom. Okay? Who needs mortal validation when you have it by way of the spirit? Okay? All of this work is on this channel. All right? I have a just cause to rebel against this system. You want to set yourself in opposition? Well, just understand who it is you truly serve and love. Okay, because it ain't my power. All right? It's not the one that I follow. It ain't the one that I serve. Okay? I am loyal to my maker, the maker of my spirit. Okay? I know that power don't want me on this earth spending all my time, energy, and effort pining after money. Oh, to sustain my life? How do I know that? Because the Messiah told us not to do it. Okay? The Messiah told us to do this. And this is what I am doing. All while I am being debased. By pretty much all of humanity. You want to hate me. You want to ignore me. And it's all good because, bruh, you have free agency. So I ain't mad at you. But, you know, it's astounding to me. It's literally astounding, bruh. Okay? Because I do this out of love. The great spirit is infinite love and all-powerful. Okay? Love is a necessity for entering the coming kingdom. See, this kingdom that we all been forced to live in is the opposite of love. Okay? It is the opposite of divine love. All right? It's all about selfishness and greed. Capitalism. All right? That is the opposite of the coming kingdom. All right? I am the utter opposite of the ways of this world. Therefore, I am debased. Okay? So, as you can see, people... I've been blessed by the way of the spirit. And the fact that you people don't value that, but you value your money, that says a whole lot about your heart. And the great spirit sees that. Okay? And we're at the end. All right? I'm instructed to give you this, this light. Okay? So... For wherever your treasure is, there will your heart be also. All right? He's telling you. So where's your treasure, people? In savings accounts, right? What's in them savings accounts? Money, right? That's your treasure. And that's where your heart is at. Your heart is not set upon loving your neighbor as you do yourself. Your heart is not set upon not doing to others things you will not want done to yourself. See, no man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Hmm, wonder why I've been despised my entire life. Because money was never my God. You cannot serve the great spirit and money. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. This system forced that upon you. This system forced you to take thought for your life. Be a responsible adult. You're irresponsible if you don't have a job to take care of yourself. But the Messiah said, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body. 
Behold the fowls of the air. He says, look to his creation. Look how he takes care of his creation. Your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not much better than they? Yes, we are because we have consciousness. Okay? Yeah. We have free agency. They don't have free agency. They do what they were created to do. Okay? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto your stature? And why take you thought for things that you cannot really control? Doesn't the Most High clothe the grass of the field? Why do you think he won't clothe you, O ye of little faith? See, you, you don't truly trust the Most High to sustain your life. You trust in the wisdom of this world and what was forced upon all humanity. That is why you work your jobs. But he's telling you that you have little faith. And it's okay that you don't have great faith. You're not going to go, you're not going to be purged because you, you don't have a lot of faith. Okay? Okay? But you are going to be purged for a stony heart. All right? You are going to be purged because you are lacking compassion and mercy, kindness, and empathy for your neighbor that's in need and have been placed here to help you see. Yeah, you, you, you're going to be judged for that quite harshly. According to your mentality and in the hardness of your heart. He says again, therefore take no thought. What shall we eat or what shall we drink? How are we going to take care of ourselves? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. We have been living in the times of the Gentiles, people, and you are not taking that into consideration. When we were born into this world, it was this system was already well established. And this system was established by Gentiles, the worst of the heathen, in fact. Okay? So you have been strong-armed, into thinking like they think, behaving like they behave. But now the living witnesses is here to bring back the oracles of the great spirit. The covenant of this land, true freedom and happiness for all of humanity and all of creation that can only come out of divine love, compassion, mercy, and empathy for one another, not capitalism and the love of money. For our Heavenly Father knoweth that we have need of these things as mortals. But seek first the kingdom of the Most High and His righteousness, and then all of these things will be added unto you. Therefore take no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. There's enough issues that you have to deal with daily. Okay? So, people, you got to um, make the choice whether you're going to listen to the Messiah or you see all of this work on my channel. Okay? Let's go over to the live. All right? Overcoming the flesh. All right? I'm instructed to give testimonies on how I overcame my flesh. 
So these are the real keys to the kingdom. This is what you need for true salvation. Because ain't none of you saved. The Messiah said he that endures to the end is he that's saved. Do you see this? Why in the hell are you people claiming that you're saved? See, you people are under a strong delusion. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. This that I'm giving you people is the gospel of the kingdom that is being preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. Once we are done giving you this word by the way of the spirit, guess what? The end of this wicked ass system will come. Okay? So you want to keep the basing all of this spiritual inspiration that I've been given to give to you? That's up to you. Our redemption is coming. It's time to choose your side. With clarity and understanding, not deception and blindly believing. I'm here to help you. Spiritual freedom. Long suffering. I still trust a great spirit to sustain me. We've been divinely instructed to give you these warnings. I'm here to give clarity and understanding for those who can receive it. Learn to separate good apart from evil. This system did not come from the maker of our spirit, the lover of our soul. It came from utter wicked people. Okay? All of this is on my channel, people. Hold on. Oh, goodness sakes. It's very laggy. I'm doing my best, though, people. Welcome. All right. So, as you can see, 893 videos, okay? When I started my channel, all right? Probably go into more detail about that a little in a little bit more in the audio, okay? Uh, joined May second of twenty twenty one, all right. That's three years from today, all right. You can see I connected my uh, truth without the poison page on Facebook, all right. I have a blog, which I have not updated in a really long time because I've been spending all my time, energy, and effort on Facebook and on here and on BitChute, okay? I also uploaded to Rumble and uh, Brighton yesterday, okay? Um, the post that was ignored. Let's go to this community post. <clears throat> now, all right, I posted this, people. All right, uh, I didn't want to take the chance of YouTube possibly removing the next video at the request of the musician, uh, Benson Boone, for my commentary on the lyrics from the song entitled, quote, Beautiful Things. However, I had some things to say about that song, so I uploaded it to other platforms. I don't think it's against YouTube's policy to give y'all the name of my channel on one of these other platforms. However, I'm kind of leery about posting a direct link. The entire video is about an hour and 30 some odd minutes. Please take the, t the, t why I put type? Please take the time to go check it out. Uh, please take the time. What the hell? <coughs> please take the time to go check it out. <clears throat> um, and so I posted it here, okay, and it's on, it's on the other platforms as well. So let's go take a look at it, all right? Okay, so you can see I posted it here, 
All right, and let's go ahead and get this. I only included a small snippet of the song Beautiful Things by Benson Boone, not the entire song. Hopefully the artist doesn't feel some type of way, but I must keep it real and speak as I'm instructed. Honestly, I dig the song quality-wise as far as, quality-wise as far as enjoyable to listen to, I'd rate highly. It starts out slow, but the hook is fire. He's very talented and I enjoy that style of music. However, it's been a while since I've listened to much of it. I've happened I happened to hear this during my lift ride home from my X-ray appointment the other day. Anyway, that being said, I had some thoughts upon my heart to speak about this particular song. Uh, is even more confirmation of the time we're living in. The children of light are instructed to freely give understanding and clarity of the time we're living in. All nations are in the valley of decision with a divine opportunity to humble yourselves as children, repent and change your heart, or hold on to what it is you think you know and find out when it's too late that you you were wrong. There will be no salvation for you. You will reap the same negative energy you and your bloodline have been sowing during the times of the Gentiles. Unfortunately, many people are not going to be saved nor spared from destruction no matter how much they cry out and call upon quote god the eternal great spirit will not deliver them for they have rebelled against the eternal word of the great spirit and followed after false gods therefore the great spirit will allow them to reap the destruction they have sown okay while i get notifications people <laughs> <clears throat> so let's see here. You know, I'm not going to argue with people, but. So, <clears throat> you see the name of this person, and they put this, and I said, and after that, in the fourth part of the earth, the Americas, where the papacy instituted many of these atrocities against the indigenous seed of these lands revelations 18 or 11 8 through 11 we're at the end you're all in a valley of decision all right so you can read this this is what happened to us okay here in this land all right and here right here okay i've lived through this all right i lived through y'all you know rejoicing over our condition making merry with one another sending gifts to one another all right i i wit i witnessed that okay wonder why i was debased all my dang life okay wonder why nobody uh cared about me all right and after three and a half days, three and a half years, a time, times, and half time, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into us, and we have stood upon our feet, okay? So we are standing upon our feet, all right? And now, yes, we realize many people are trembling in their boots, even though they may not admit it, okay? But they know that they cannot refute what we have been given, okay? Um. <clears throat> so this person comes back with his Beatitudes. All right, so, uh, yes, you're exactly right. And he opened his mouth and taught them. Blessed are, no, see, this right here is inaccurate. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Uh, why, no, it's blessed are the poor physically. We ain't poor in spirit. I got spiritual wealth, okay? But this is, this is a mistranslation. It's blessed are the meek and the humble of heart. Okay, blessed are those with a contrite spirit, all right, a spirit that can be led via the spirit of truth, not poor in spirit, okay, that, that's a mistranslation, all right, but is blessed of those who have a broken heart and a contrite spirit, he is near unto us, okay, ours is the kingdom of heaven, okay, uh, he's, and this person is putting here, who is speaking, well, okay, yes, I realize that it's the Messiah, 
All right. Yes, blessed are those who mourn, for we shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for yes, we shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for yes, we shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for yes, we shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, yes, for we shall see the Most High. All right, this person is using it most likely out of context. Okay, yes, they're using it out of context. All right? Like, so, uh, it says, uh, I'm pretty sure they could see Jesus God speaking to them, huh? What kind of God would do this? Who would promise someone they will get to see you if they just become pure in heart when they are looking right at you? What? What? You're not even making sense. Did Jesus God just promise that only the pure in heart shall see God? Or was everyone present? Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure they could see uh, them speaking to them, huh? Well, yes, it's, it's about the heart. Wait, all of this, all of this is summing up your heart condition. Okay, do you not realize that? This is summing up your heart condition. All right? Whether you have love in your heart towards all humanity and all creation. Okay? But this person don't have no love. For the people who have been destroyed and never restored. Okay, because this person is holding on to what they have been taught to believe all their life. That them people over there in that created state of Israel is the people of the Bible. And they are not the people of the Bible. This person refused to humble themselves and unlearn what they have been taught. And be retaught via the spirit of truth. Okay? Yes, blessed are the peacemakers. Well, how can you have peace when you're living under gross deception and darkness? Okay, the light has to be shined. All right? Yes, the lies have to be uncovered first. Okay? The great deception has to be lifted before there can be real peace. Yes, blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake. For ours is the kingdom of heaven. Am I not being persecuted? People shutting up their bows to me, refusing to want to help me because I don't want to bow down and worship money. That's persecution at the highest level. <clears throat> Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad for your reward is great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Man, edge or I. I don't know how to spell it. Inherit.
that poor in spirit is a mistranslation. We are not poor in spirit. That should be contrite of spirit, broken heart and contrite spirit, able to be led of the spirit of truth, able to unlearn the knowledge and ways of this world, to relearn via the spirit of truth, the oracles of the kingdom. All right. So we get that one. <clears throat> what the hell? It, is there another one that's hidden? Because I only seen one uh, comment. Maybe they did it because of the edit. But it said three. It said there was three. All right, so yeah, that I guess that's it. All right, so um, <clears throat> sorry about that, people. I just wanted to uh check that I did already show you the video. All right, beautiful thing. So go check it out, okay? Um, you see my name on this channel, one servant of the Most High. Okay, so go there and check out this video, okay? I cannot play it on here because I, like I said, I don't want no problems with YouTube. All right, now I did, I did speak with YouTube yesterday. All right, that's why I went ahead and posted the link because I got, I, you know, he didn't really give me permission, but he, he basically was like, yeah, you're able to share external links as long as they are in compliance with YouTube's community standards, okay? So, um, thus far, there's no issues with it, okay? And I don't think I would get a strike on my channel for posting a link. Um, that would go against, because I don't think it necess this doesn't go against the community standards. I was just concerned that the artist might feel some type of way, all right, because of the message that I had um, based upon the lyrics of his song, Beautiful Things, okay? Now, I already read all of this to you, but I'm going to read this right here. A light worker's creed. I am a light worker, okay? This is my job. Okay, <laughs> this is my job, people. I don't work for money. I work for passion, love, mercy, and empathy. Okay, I work for my father. Okay, yes, I awoke so others may awaken. I learn so that others may also learn. I transform so that others may transform. I lighten my load so that others may change theirs. I learned to see so that others may also see. I forgave myself so that I may help others to forgive. I love myself so that I can bring out love in others. I am a light worker. I live to give comfort. I live to shine, to shine loving light onto others. I live to heal. I live to give hope. I live for truth. Okay? That's what I live for. I don't live for money and materialistic things, superficiality, okay? So people, understand. You, you have been casting off the Messiah and his teachings for the wisdom of this world, okay? Oops. And the reason why... Is because you think you already saved. Okay, you, you you think you know best. You're like, I've been here longer. You know, I've been studying the scriptures longer than you. I'm already saved. I don't have to listen to the low class. You know, it's not that you can't see. It's that you, you refuse to see. Okay? You want to blindly accept what you have been taught to believe all your life. Okay? Blind conformity. All right, because thinking for yourself is too hard. All right, hold on. And because the God of this world has blinded your mind, so you cannot see, okay? If you can be anything, be real. Real gold ain't afraid of the melting pot. Okay? 
Real gold ain't afraid of the melting pot. Most people are afraid to stand up for what's right when it goes against social conditioning and mass consensus. They can't handle being rejected, ridiculed, and stigmatized. Yet these are those who I'm here to help free. Why continue to hate me? and shut up your bowels from assisting me? I am here to help you. But the God of this world has blinded you. Blind conformity, because thinking for yourself is too hard, apparently. I'm closing this stuff out. People who have overcome darkness in their life typically have a fire inside them that is almost impossible to extinguish. Never be afraid to raise your voice for honesty and truth and compassion against injustice and lying and greed. If people all over the world would do this, it would change the earth. Okay, so keep turning a blind eye. However long you want. But bruh, I suggest you humble yourself and take heed to these warnings because, you know. Hold on a second. I would rather die standing than live kneeling. If my words threaten those in power, so be it. If my pictures alarm the people, that is good. Your teeth come down, my sword of the spirit goes up. Okay? I am not afraid. Alright? And I don't do it to hurt people. But we have been well equipped to deal with the charlatans and the Pharisees that want to try to stop us in our spiritual mission, okay? So their teeth come down and my sword of the spirit goes up, okay? We're instructed to give you this truth by the way of the spirit, people, all right? I am not afraid to raise my voice, all right? I had to overcome a lot of darkness in my life. Okay, I've been gaslighted my whole entire life, people. And this is during a time where I had no understanding. And I'm made to feel like I'm the problem. Okay, all because I don't have ambition to stack up money upon the earth. Okay, money ain't my God. You want to be mad at me because of that. Okay. Um, one second. Bring it back over here. Because, you know, I feel like, what is the point? Okay, because, you know, this is prophecy that many people are going to continue to ignore us. And it's going to take you by surprise. Now, I'm going to come back and give you more on that in just a little bit, okay? I'm going to go ahead and end this segment here. Bro, because this is almost, this is like almost an hour and a half, okay? So, um, I will be back to give you more, all right? I gotta heat up my coffee and I shall be right back. And, um, let's see, how what uh, time are we on this? We're about six minutes in or so. Um, this is like a 24-minute audio. 
Um, we, we hadn't gotten into the part that uh, includes a bit of the profanity, so that, that that's going to be coming up, okay? Um, I Like I said, bro, I don't, I don't be planning it, okay? I don't plan to uh, use this type of language, but, bro, when I'm flowing, when I'm in my element, okay, uh, it comes out sometimes, and when it does, I am instructed to not cut it, okay? Um, because I have to be authentic. All right. And some people obviously need to hear it that way. So I apologize to those who are sensitive, but we are at the end. Okay. We're at the end. And you know, if, if you seriously, you know, act like you got virgin ears and you know, all of this and this time that we living in, you haven't, you, you are deceiving yourself. Okay. You're deceiving yourself and you're using this as an excuse to, um, Cast me off, all right? And you have free agency to do that, all right? However, it it doesn't take away from the message that I've been given to give to you. As a matter of fact, it gives emphasis, all right? I have to keep it real, people, all right? I got to keep it real, all right? I, can, I cannot get on here and be fake, all right? So on that note, I shall be right back. Shalom.